good morning everybody well we didn't get out of here quite as early as i wanted to but we're headed south so today we figure we're going to end somewhere in uh, monroe louisiana area somewhere down around there we'll just see we'll ride as long as we want to and stop whenever we want to we're going to take about three days to get back to florida where you guys have watched this usually we take a two day 600 mile trip but we're gonna we're gonna take our time so we're gonna do three days that means we should be home sunday and uh, the bikes are all packed and we are getting ready to roll out florida bound here we come so some of the news from down there uh, lots of flooding uh, i know that our good friends um brian christina they kind of got flooded out of their house they actually messaged us last night and said hey we're at your house which is fantastic so i'm glad our house was okay and they could seek refuge there but now they have to clean up right so they have to dry all that stuff out cut stuff and oh the nightmare begins so hopefully we'll be home in time to help them get that done and uh, anybody else out there that needs help we have started chats in all of our support bikers groups that were affected down there emergency chats so if you or somebody you know is in that area and they need some help if they will put it in that chat hopefully somebody in that chat from that area can see it and give them a hand uh, at least that's the general idea as we stand right now Anywho, I'm going to tell my sister and my brother-in-law goodbye, and then we're going to fire these bad boys up and head on down the highway. Here we go. Alright, first stop was Cassville, Missouri. We stopped and filled up with gas. It was $3.53 for 91 octane, and we are back on the road. About a 400 mile day today. We'll see how far we get. Mama put another layer on because it's a little chilly, and uh, we're ready to roll. See you in a few. stopped for lunch in Mountainburg at this cool little burger joint like they have an alien out front see the alien it's called neon moon they have charbroiled burgers fresh cut fries it's just a cool little place they got a little see the little and it's clean, the like UFO see the little UFO yeah. up on top of the roof and uh, yeah it's pretty clean they have like pulled pork which is what I'm getting um just a neat little little thing i have no idea what that is across the way but angie thinks it's cool looks like an old building that somebody painted the inside of yeah. right there's the high school but anyway we're in mountainburg um i don't say it quite like the lady that i asked where we were at did but <laughs> I could only imagine. She's like, everybody says I sound country. I was like, well, you are in the middle of Arkansas, so that kind of makes sense. Anyway, we're about 200 miles away from our destination. I don't think we're quite going to make Monroe tonight, but I've got us a Holiday Inn found along the route. So we'll see. Thanks about 6 30 ish or something. Twisty, been really, lots, been really lots great roads. Sites that he's just rode past that I've slowed down and thought about stopping without him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he slows way down he's like what's wrong i'm looking i'm looking at the sights it's beautiful out here arkansas is a great place to ride it's a tree, a tree? on the side of a hill no <laughs> did you miss the whole lookout you mean the lake yeah 
Yeah, but I looked over the lake. lake. Yes, there was I a saw all those. section and just you could see the mountains. Forever. You could see the trees on the side of the hills. <laughs> anyway, we're going to eat and then we're going to hit the road. Lunch was awesome. On the road again. y'all we have landed in Camden Arkansas it was a really great ride lots of windy roads today 100% dry not a drop of water that was great my hair is a mess <laughs> anywho I uh, we just went and ate how is KFC still in fucking business <laughs> Like, we used to love KFC. So there's a KFC in the parking lot of our hotel, and we're like, you know what, let's just go over to KFC. And it, the last two or three times we've had it, it's been bad, but we just, like, keep wishing it would be good. Well, guess what? It was not good again. I don't know how they stay in business. Do you know they don't even have butter for the biscuits anymore? No butter for the biscuits. The honey packet says honey sauce. Yeah. What the fuck is honey sauce? <laughs> Somebody explain that shit to me. Anyway. They were short-staffed. They were short-staffed, so when they were waiting on us, they were telling everybody from the drive through that they had to come in. And then once they got, like, the, the inside cut up, then they started working the drive through again. But just dirty, like my feet stuck to the fucking floor as I'm trying to walk around. Um, yeah, it was just not a great experience. And uh, I don't know how they stay in business. Anywho, we're in for the night. Going to take showers and get ready to continue this adventure tomorrow. We'll probably knock out another 400 miles tomorrow. And then Sunday, 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 we'll lock and load and we'll jet on in to home. Looking forward to home. What you, about you, Ange? How are you doing over there? Fine. What you doing? What's in the bag? Cords. Tell me about the couple that uh, came from where we were and the rain and how bad it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So as we're riding here, I'm getting... So I don't know if you guys know this. I'm saying so a lot tonight. You just have to deal with it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I... That makes sense anyway. <laughs> anywho, anyhow... <laughs> Um, I have weather alerts like when I go someplace I pull the weather up for that place so we were going to all these places so I have them on our weather map so I get alerts and stuff from them so on the way here I got an alert from Illinois where are we going in Illinois do you remember the name Brookport. of it? Brookport we're going to Brookport Illinois tonight and I'm getting flood warnings from Brookport Illinois and then I'm getting notifications that it's going to rain um, in Elizabethtown Kentucky and then we just met a couple that came from Asheville North Carolina they were at a cabin and the cabin owners came out and said get out of the cabin and leave now and uh, they had a really bad 
rain and so everything's flooded in that whole area. I am glad that we decided not to go because we would have been caught in some really nastiness. Yeah, we got lucky. So we didn't go earlier or anything. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't go earlier. That is where we we're at now. And uh we're exhausted. So I guess here's the other part to this. I haven't told you guys this piece. Um we had a resort in Tennessee. The resort we had decided that was going to be like our little vacation. Um, on the way there, we had a couple of meetups. And then once we were done with the meetups, we didn't have any meetups at Smoky Mountain Bike Week. We were literally just going to do our own thing, hang out, have fun, and it was going to be our little vacation. <sighs> we were not meant to have a vacation. So this is our vacation. Welcome to Holiday Inn in Camden, <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> With shitty KFC for dinner. <laughs> Life is good. I'm not going to complain. Our house made it through just fine. Yeah, um, not complaining. We're not complaining. Just sometimes you wish. You're like, oh, that would have just worked out. Anywho. Oh, look. Look at, Mo look at Mom. <laughs> I'm able to get that She's got her hoodie stuck on her head. Her shirt's up over her her belly and her everything. I forgot I had a flannel on too. She had There's a flannel. Too many layers she did have a flannel and a hoodie on today while I was in short sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my rain pants the entire time. Alright guys, that's it. The end. We will see you tomorrow, hopefully to avoid the rain. Um until then, see you. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh my what God. a mess.